Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, June 19th, 2017. This weekend, I set about to make cyanotype prints, and I want to share with you how that worked. Cyanotype prints are an old photographic technique in which a blue dye is generated by UV light. I was going to say sunlight. You can use sunlight, but any UV light will work. This is the reason why blueprints are called blueprints, because this was the the trick that people used to copy a design for a building cheaply because you could make a blue dye copy of your plans relatively cheaply even before there were such things as photocopiers or digital copiers certainly this was a cheap and easy way to make a photographic copy so how does it work so you start with a solution of ammonium iron citrate, which supplies iron 3 plus ions, and to that you add iron ferricyanate, which has that iron 3 plus cyano minus complex. By themselves, those can't react, but when you add light, you can cause the iron 3 plus in the potassium ferricyanide to be reduced to iron 2 plus. And that iron 2 plus cyano group, potassium ferrocyanide, is able to react with the iron 3 plus to produce a dye called Prussian blue. And that dye falls out of solution, it's, it's insoluble. And that's what gives us the dark blue color. So I'm going to adapt my procedure from the Journal of Chemical Education's publication by Glenn D. Lawrence and Stuart Fischelson, where they did a blueprint photography by the cyanotype process. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. But the gist of it is we're going to take a tiny amount of this ammonium iron citrate. I'm going to use about 0.2 grams per milliliter and weigh that out and add the appropriate volume of water. Next, I'm going to get on some gloves and weigh out my potassium ferricyanide and add the appropriate volume of water to that as well. It doesn't take much, it only takes about oh, one, what, 10 milligrams per milliliter or thereabouts. And once I get that dissolved, it makes a nice yellow solution. I'm going to get some watercolor paper and I am going to cut a little piece of that appropriately sized for a couple of 3 inch by 2 inch glass slides. Those slides are going to hold the paper flat while I do the actual cyanotype printing. Once I have that little square of paper I'm going to use a little bit of tape to mask off the edges and I've got a little leaf here that I'm going to use as my subject. Now I've got my masking tape around the edge of a glass slide. I'm going to get 0.3 milliliters of each of my solutions, the potassium ferricyanate and the ammonium iron citrate. And once I've mixed those two, I'm going to spread those out with a foam brush there over the surface of my watercolor paper. Once I have that, I'm going to go put it in the oven. I have a 100 degree Celsius oven that will dry it out quickly. I could use a hair dryer. I think I will use a hair dryer uh, in the future. But for this purpose, I just popped it in the uh, 100 degree Celsius oven for a minute or two. Once that's dry, I'm going to sandwich the now dry watercolor paper between two pieces of glass and use a couple binder clips to hold it flat. Put my leaf subject in between the two pieces of uh, watercolor and glass so that I have my whole setup there ready to be exposed. That whole thing can then go outside into the sun so that the UV light can initiate the reaction. After about nine minutes on a cloudy day, I'm gonna bring the whole assembly back in and use this dish of water to wash away the unreacted potassium ferricyanate and ammonium iron citrate. So I'll just rinse that around in that water a little bit, and you can see it already has developed a fairly blue color and the yellow uninitiated, unreacted material has washed away. And I'm going to add a couple drops of hydrogen peroxide to the second dish and transfer that over uh, to darken the color in the exposed areas to get that beautiful dark blue. And then back over to the water to rinse off any residual hydrogen peroxide. 
At that point it's done, I'm gonna hang it in this can to dry, and the final product looks like this. So thanks for watching, I hope you find that kind of thing interesting. If you like my videos, think about hitting that like button. If you want to see more, think about hitting that subscribe button. I make new videos Monday through Friday, every day. We talk about science, chemistry, DIY projects, here in the Allen Lab.